Roger Montgomery from the Montgomery Fund and welcome to this week's Video Insight. We are bearish on financial assets as the US economy progresses towards the late cycle, liquidity has been removed and the markets are pricing in a continuation of recent conditions despite the changing backdrop. Those are the words of billionaire hedge fund manager Ray Dalio of Bridgewater Associates who managed some 160 billion US dollars. As we've previously noted here at the blog, ultra low interest rates for an ultra long period of time through quantitative easing has seen unprecedented debt accumulate globally. Of course, that was the idea. But the majority of the debt accumulated since 2010 by US non-financial corporates has been used for unproductive purposes. Instead of investing the money for growth or research and development, the funds have primarily driven stock buybacks, which obviously boost earnings per share, special dividends and mergers and acquisitions. And those acquisitions have been at record high prices thanks to ultra low interest rates. The effect of swapping equity for debt through buybacks has almost without doubt inflated the equity market and simultaneously misdirected capital away from productive purposes. In other words, for many companies, not all, their prices have gone up, but their value hasn't. Over the last 18 or so months, we've referred disparagingly to the blind chase for higher yields. We've also, also talked about being in the late stages of a credit cycle. We believe the period of ultra low rates, lax lending standards and booming debt issuance is just about over. And when it ends, it will take with it the fuel that has driven global asset prices higher. Since the global financial crisis, triple B rated, which is the lowest investment grade rating, and B rated or lower, including triple C rated junk companies, have borrowed an additional $4.5 trillion, representing an increase on debt of about 150%. When weak businesses that have borrowed too much debt begin to default, it raises the cost of debt for everyone. Such a scenario, when leverage is at record highs, will ensure many assets will need to be liquidated to raise cash. And that's the transmission mechanism, the liquidation process, which should force asset prices lower. Those looking to buy a property or invest aggressively in any asset class would do well to pause and reflect. My good friend Jonathan Rochford from Narrow Road Capital recently pointed out a dozen markets in which pockets of dodgy debt were apparent. These span the spectrum of issuers from global high yield markets to Chinese corporate and emerging market debt and from US student and subprime auto loans to US mortgage debt and US municipal debt. There are a dozen markets where the dodgy factor has been rising. Deteriorating data is emanating from the US, Canadian and Australian mortgage debt markets where government guaranteed lenders have been providing the same loans to borrowers with limited excess income and little or no savings. Sound familiar? The same factors are also being seen in the US subprime auto loans market where the quality of subprime auto loans is poor and getting worse with minimal checks on the borrower's ability to afford the loan. And even, the US, even as US unemployment has been falling, Rochford notes default rates have been increasing, which is a clear indication of how bad the underwriting has actually been. US student loans now exceed $1.49 trillion, up from $480 billion in 2006. And a long period of loose lending in much of the Middle East, South America and Africa reminds Rochford of the conditions before the Asian financial crisis and the Latin American debt crisis. And we mustn't forget China because Australia obviously is exposed. China now has the highest corporate debt to GDP ratio of any country with close to half the debt uh, owned by property companies and property linked industries. So investors need to begin paying attention to debt markets because rising interest rates aren't a problem until they are. In other words, sentiment can shift quickly. What was once unimportant can quickly become a key focus, even more so, so when dodgy debt is so prevalent. Ray Dalio from Bridgewater isn't always right, but he perhaps best summarised it for investors thus. 
And I quote, 2019 is setting up to be a dangerous year as the fiscal stimulus rolls off while the impact of the Fed's tightening will be peaking. And since asset markets lead the economy for investors, the danger is already here. So leaving with you with those thoughts, don't take away the idea that we're talking about an imminent crash or anything of the sort. It just means markets are expensive and there are potential triggers for more volatility. And that could be a huge advantage to anyone who's holding some cash. I look forward to talking to you again next week. And in the interim, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter.